People are used to air pollution here. Now it's in the soil as well. According to state television, this land is seriously contaminated. Until six years ago, three chemical factories stood here. But that didn't stop a school being opened across the road last September. It has more than two and a half thousand students, and some of them started falling ill three months ago. Skin ailments and even cases of leukemia were identified. It's a worrying time for students now preparing for their exams. I don't feel anything right now, but I do worry that I might get some disease in the future. Anxious parents and relatives no longer know who or what to believe. The Chinese media say it's very toxic, especially bad for children, but it doesn't matter whether you can smell it, you still can see it or touch it. Local government officials continue to insist the air, soil and groundwater meet national standards and deny that any pupil has been or is seriously ill. But local people we spoke to remain skeptical about such reassurances. A lot of people are coughing who live here. It's very common. And people think it's definitely related to that chemical plant. People cough like this. Environmentalists say that soil and water pollution is a consequence of China's rush to modernize. So it's mainly caused by the lax uh, regulation of uh, industry that is using hazardous chemicals. Not much transparency, so I don't think that, I don't think the, the local government is that aware of the, the potential risk of building anything near that uh, old industrial area. For the parents, the big question is this, were adequate environmental tests carried out on this soil before construction of the new school began three years ago? For now, it remains a question that local government officials are unable to answer. Plans to construct a shopping mall on this wasteland have now been abandoned. The school had been part of the local government strategy to draw new investment here. Now it stands accused of being behind a cover-up. Adrian Brown, Al Jazeera, in Changzhou, eastern China.